Welcome guys, this is Technology Made Basic. I'm making a video today to give you some of the uh, tips and tools on how to fix Windows Updates errors. Uh, what we want to do first is in the search on our start menu here, go ahead and type in the word services dot msc. Go ahead and hit enter. And there's three things you want to check first to make sure uh, they are enabled and they are starting. So a lot of times those do have to do with uh, Windows updates. Uh, under our services, under where it says background intelligence, you want to make sure that this one is automatically uh, started. So in this case it is. You can just double click on it and you can see here that it is started and it's automatic. The second thing we want to check is the actual Windows update itself. So we're going to scroll down all the way down to Windows update click on that we double click it again to open it you see that it is started and it is automatic and the third and final thing we want to check is the workstation which is uh, going to be the last one down go ahead and double click it you see that it is started it is automatic those are three things that you do not want to have stopped uh, you want to make sure they are started and they are running and that's going to eliminate a lot of your issues with windows updates um, after we do that after you do that, if it, that doesn't fix your issues, there is something else we can try. And what we're going to go ahead and do is stop the Windows updates. So we'll go back to where it says uh, Windows Update and click on the Stop button. It's going to go ahead and shut down that service. Hit OK. We'll close our uh, services. We're going to navigate to a specific folder. So we're going to go to Start, Computer. In this case, we're going to navigate to our C drive and we want to go to the uh, Windows folder and then also from there go ahead and navigate to the software distribution folder and to the folder that says data store and if you're still getting an error with Windows updates even after you made sure that all those three services are up and running anything that's in here under the data store folder which was uh, from computer, the C drive, Windows, software distribution, data store. Go ahead and delete any file or folder in here. So we'll just highlight everything that's in here, hit delete on our keyboard, say yes, continue, need administrator permission. Okay, go back one, and where it says download, right here in our download folder, we want to go ahead and delete everything that's in here also. These are just temporary uh, update files, everything that we're deleting right now. And if you're afraid that maybe uh, something we're doing is going to corrupt your computer and not going to be able to work properly anymore, make sure to always create a restore point before you're doing anything that you're not too sure about. So just refer to my restore point video on how to create a restore point. Let's go ahead and delete this. Say yes. Continue. And it's approximately on this computer a little under 700 megabytes. So it's going to take a bit to go ahead and delete everything. Uh, so basically what we've done is just gone into our services and made sure that the uh, background intelligence service, the Windows Update, and the workstation were all started. And now what we've done is just simply deleted uh, temporary update files is what they are. Okay, now that we have all that cleaned out, uh, we want to go ahead and just check the updates that we do have installed on our computer right now. And this is also a location where you can go ahead and remove any updates that you want to uh, uninstall from the computer uh, because maybe it's something that you installed was harmful uh, we're going to go to start we're going to go to control panel go to programs programs and features and view installed updates on the left pane here and this is going to give me a long list of uh, all the updates that I have installed on my computer as you can see here so deleting those temporary files does not delete the updates that are on your computer it just uh, deletes basically any of the history that was on there. Once we've tried that and deleted that, the last step we want to do is uh, navigate to the Microsoft website, which is www.microsoft.com. And we want to uh, make sure we have the latest Windows Update Agent. So in the top search, we type in Windows Update Agent. Hit enter. And we want to click on the first link there, how to obtain the latest version of the Windows Update Agent. And here, um, 
you just want to make sure that you're downloading the correct one whether it's 32 or 64 bit a quick way to check is just by clicking on start go into computer doing a right click on property a right click and go to properties as you can see here I have a 64 bit version of Windows 7 Ultimate so we're going to close that again so I navigate down to the 64 base computer download that and in Internet Explorer 9 it's going to give me the option here to save or run as a small file so I'm going to go ahead and just run it and this is just going to ensure that I have the latest uh, up-to-date Windows Update agent. Go ahead and click yes. It's going to extract the file and you're going to go through the installation. It's a real quick uh, check and installation that it does. So now that we've checked to make sure those services are running and we've done temporary files, once we install the software we want to go ahead and re-enable our Windows updates because remember we did stop it so go ahead and uh, minimize that real quick go back to start and again type in services dot msc hit enter it says here you have successfully installed Windows Update Agent click finish let's go ahead and uh, scroll down to Windows Updates and click on the start button that way we go ahead and turn Windows updates back on hit OK and that's started and all we did is turn it off and turn it back on just to delete those files All right, and the last thing we can try we'll go ahead and navigate back to the Microsoft website is downloading the Microsoft Fixit tool so in the search we'll t type in Microsoft Fixit We'll go ahead and click that first uh, link here and once we're on this page we want to click where it says Windows then we're going to scroll down on uh, what you're trying to do and what we're trying to do is install or update software or hardware and specifically Windows updates so this first one where it says fix the problem with Microsoft Windows updates that is not working go ahead and click run now run we're gonna go ahead and run the uh, utility that's gonna basically search for any additional problems with Windows updates and try to repair them automatically so on top of doing some things manually ourselves there are some automate, automated tools that you can download through Microsoft to also help you and like I said some of the easiest things also may be just uninstalling uh, a specific update say you want to go update your system and now you're getting all kinds of issues and it's not letting you update well you can always go to the programs and features and uninstall those so we're gonna go ahead and choose the first option where it says detect problems and apply fit and apply the fixes for me that's recommended click that and if we haven't fixed the problem already by doing it ourselves we're going to go ahead and run the fix it tool to try to fix any remaining issues with windows updates and on top of uh, doing the manual uh, steps that we provided here also the automated step with Microsoft fix it make sure you run a full system scan with your antivirus program because a lot of times uh, spyware adware viruses are detrimental to a system and cause all kinds of issues so as you can see here repair windows update components it's fixed hit next yes the problem was fixed hit next and close uh, so basically what we went over is the services make sure the background intelligence service the windows update service and the workstation service is all started uh, we can also try deleting the temporary update files and we can go ahead and install the latest Windows Update agent all through Microsoft.com and also the Microsoft Fix It through Microsoft.com. So those are just some of the tips on getting those errors out of the way with uh, Windows updates. Hope this uh, video was helpful and that concludes this video.